You know, on really hot days like this one, it's nice to be able to cool off in the water. But have you ever wondered how the water gets to your faucet, where it comes from? Absolutely. You know, one way that water can move is by using a siphon. So siphons are tubes that move water from one place to another, but using pressure, okay? So let's say we wanted to take the water from this pail and then place it inside of this empty pail. We could actually just use this tube as a siphon to get that done. So once the water fills inside of this tube here, the pressure from the water fill pail is going to force all of that water through this tube into the empty pail. That's right. And lifting this pail up higher will create an even bigger difference in pressure, making the water move faster. Once you've played around with that and you understand how pressure and height make a difference in how the water moves, use your creativity to build a water wall like this one. Yeah, now for full instructions, you can log on to our website for some helpful tips as well. Now make sure that you experiment with different bottles and their placement and figure out which one works best. All of the pressure in this bottle will force the water through the tube into the second bottle and so on. But what I really want to know is how far I can get this water to move. Uh oh. <laughs> Be sure to enter the Summer Brain Games contest.